So, with the Black Boars now all raring to go, they decide to go and help and save the citizens of the Clover Kingdom by smashing their giant Megazord into the kingdom, <laughs> into one of the cities themselves, and pretty much beating the everlasting shit out of the elves. This chapter, like, um, was a very mixed bag for me, where this one was like, I was reading through this, I was like, oh shit, yeah, let's go, we're going straight to the kingdom, and I was like, Oh, that's interesting. We're actually going to see some of the other town, like going to see other stuff other than the capital. We're going to be seeing something else. Like we're going to be seeing like um, uh, one of the first few towns of like the common region. I think it was like uh, Hokkaido, and I was like, that's cool. Like I was like, we're going to be you know build a little bit of the world a little bit up, show a little bit more so you see how like they like work around here. And we didn't really get to see too much of it. it was just kind of the same. It was kind of more like used as a kind of like plot device saying this is where we have the entire time to shine for like all of the black balls we get to see everyone working together and it felt like like especially with this chapter this was really short it felt like this felt like nothing too much progressed to uh, like too much for the characters it was more of a show off a uh, show off chapter for like this is what uh, they can do when they're all like teaming up together like it's like the the traditional shonen jump thing of like here you go here's your friendship here's your teamwork and this is showing like when they're all working together and it's like now the fact that it's like they know about henry and they know that the whole place has been like pretty much made up for, so that they can use their full potential like they are pretty much nearly indestructible so let's go through a lot of this chapter so they arrive at this place akira and they find out that free elves are here we where we've got like all of them where it was like how they were describing like the main guy for this one was like they were describing him as like like the saint of pure ice like he was like this sort of big deal around here now a bunch of them were like either like orcas or just like mantises and like they pretty much just seem like they're just like your country bunkin for the most part like just magic knights that were just there to protect the place and well, they're seemingly being converted. They're none of the people that we personally know from the main force, but these are just other magic knights. And we've been seeing, like, as well, like, the other people, like, struggling. They're bleeding. They're like, oh, is this really the end of this? It's like, we can't do anything about this. Hence, the Black Walls come in. And, uh, although, I do appreciate that they did see him coming from the distance. And it's like, the hell is that? They didn't just go, like, oh, let's see what happens when they appear. He's like, no, let me just take care of this. Boom, earth magic. I'm just going to deal with you there. Fortunately, that didn't really work because the giant raging ball, like monster th mech that they have, just plowed through the earth and then it just entired into an entire fight where, for the most part, everyone got their time to shine from there. Like, as they charge through there, you said it, it turns back into like its battle style, its Megazord form, and like using this, this was a chance to like both Vanessa, Charmy, and Gray were kind of like on cleanup duty for the most part, where they're like, okay, you, we are gonna like make sure that like everyone here is gonna be safe and all that. So like Vanessa's using the strings to prevent all the stuff attacking her. Like Charmy's throwing the cotton out, or, like so it can catch everyone. Gray, which is like, still has like one of the most unique powers to me, where it's like she can convert any other thing into like kind of like their base properties where she's like they're like going like ice to water and rock to sand like you i feel like you can do some really cool stuff with that and she's just like they're like kind of screaming like uh please find shelter please everyone like please just do that and whilst this which to be fair i kind of like the fact of like you know as they're all trying to attack them there's like the little cat where it was like, no, you're not even going to do anything. And little, Vanessa getting a little bit, like, cocky, I felt like that. Where it was like, all right, she has that money. It's just, like, you guys aren't going to be doing anything and all that. Not while my magic's up and running like that. You see the little cat just on there. And then it's just like, oh, let's have these three giant cannons. Gordon, Luck, and mine. They're like, all right, <laughs> crack the nuts, let's go. And they all just pour in their magic and just blast these guys. Like, it was horrifying to see like what amount immense amount of power that they were just pouring out there's like all right let's just see all of these guys at their like fall back and see what they can do against these guys and it's just like it was a ex maximum exploding fireball a thunderclap crumbling orb and then uh it was the um the poison orb as well i forget what like honestly what gordon's was was but it was like a very real weird as nate and it was like this was like again where it's just like 
Henry with it felt like a tiny bit like a Henry chapter for the most part where it's just like he's like happy because he's like it, this is the way that I can fight with everyone I can like always be by, like by their sides it's like I don't have to be like just stuck out there alone and all that and it's just like and hence she had that one chapter of like everyone like teaming up with him and it's like you know let's go Henry let's just like go up there and this is where the chapter ends with them like going they're now about to use a combination magic and this ends up with of course Asta coming in firing himself like they fire Asta out of the cannon and just put, slam him into the elves and it's just like him screaming like yeah the black balls and this one and that's the chapter like so again like it was an incredibly like short chapter for me where it's like there was nothing really to digest with this chapter. It felt like this is what they can do when they're all together. This is, like, what they're showing off. And then the little bit of dialogue that they showed with Henry, where it's, like, kind of Henry's, like, now accepting, where it's, like, this is slightly something I can do. This is how I can help, like, the Black Balls. And then it's showing that this is how well they work together. And it's, like, just Magna Gordon and Luck. I can't believe that trio of people were decimating. Like, they were... It wasn't even a contest at that point where it's just like you they could have easily taken them on like i honestly i felt like with just even the three of them i'm kind of glad at the same time that we're not if this was going to be the stuff that we we're going to be dealing with it's like we're going to be stuck with like a bunch of these like kind of l's going around because like, honestly i thought we were just going to rush back to the capital but it was showcasing this like that they're, they're not being selfish in the way where i was like oh well we just got our people let's just head back to the capital and just get the you know, gauch and all that so it's like Again, they show like there the, there's a few things they showcase, but then again, it wasn't an amazing it wasn't an amazing chapter at all. I felt like if anything, this was fine to average at the most like that. I felt like the Henry stuff could have had a little bit more of the time to shine than other than just exploding and throwing everything on there. I do like the little team out stuff and all that. I thought that was cool. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Megazord thing. It's dumb as hell, but I like it because it's just stupid. <laughs> it's just the stupid giant bull castle mech. So why not? Like, I mean, sure. But again, like, th th anticipating through a week. I'm talking about, like, as if this, I was reading this in a volume, it'll be like, eh, that was not really much out of that chapter continue on it's like a lot of like especially with how like people read like shonen jump and everything there's like oh that was nothing next chapter like you know you kind of go from bit to bit from there and it's like i know a lot of people kind of expect a lot from a week's chapter but even especially me, uh, me it's like I, at the end of the day w was i having fun with this chapter it was like yeah like i had mild fun with it i thought it was uh, good if anything it was like five and a half to like a six like anything it was a harmless chapter but then again, it had one or two things. I think personally, like if this was gonna be a Henry chapter, it would have been, it could have been handled a little bit better. But overall, and all that, like this is like nowhere near like a bad chapter. A bad chapter of Black Clover would just be like taking away a lot of things from characters and kind of like ruining stuff. Like again, like I felt like this and last week's chapter was a little iffy with some of the stuff with like, recovering all back to normal. But then we get to see what they can actually do now that they're back to full like, uh, blast. And it's like, yeah, decimating three fucking rando elves like that. Again, it's like not too much of a feat from them, but we'll see and all that what's going down. Like, uh, but this is pretty much their strategy at the moment where it's like, okay, we can take these guys on where we might be able to deal with the Gauch and some of the others. So we'll see how they handle it in the next week. But again, not a lot to talk about with this chapter. So let me know guys in the comments section down below what you think. And that's all from me and I'll see you guys below next time.